confirmation of the GC for Mott leads from Cummings and Martin. Stage four traverses North and Mid Wales. It is the longest of the tour and starts in Denby. Once again, Mould hosts a yodel sprint and Reed Tallog properly kicks off 4,000 metres of climbing. And they rolled out. So much applause, plenty of people wanting to see the riders do something special on this longest stage of the 2016 Tour of Britain. But there it is, the, uh, the red pennant, the Flamme Rouge, as we enter Bill Swells, one kilometre to go, a thousand metres to decide, stage four. And it is Tony Martin on the frontier trying to lead out the yellow jersey, Julian Vermont. There's a lot in the shake-up here. Lotto NL Jumbo also trying to come through, uh, looking after the Dutch champion, Groenewegen. There he is, Groenewegen, second wheel at the moment as they take the right-hander. Now then, they're heading all towards the technical section. Skyer in the shake-up as well. This is going to be some charge for the line. Over the right-hander now, it's still... Lotto NL Jumbo with the first two positions here and the Dutch champion Groenewegen in the uh, blue, white and red is sitting in second wheel position and right in the wheel of Groenewegen is Ben Swift of Team Sky. Great Britain also up there in fourth place. They take the left-hander. Now then, when is Groenewegen going to launch his effort? They're coming for the line now. This is a terrific effort. Also in there is McClay. McClay's up there as well and it's Dan McClay at the moment that's hit the front. It is Dan McClay of the Great Britain team that's going to take it on the line, McClay, or was it Groenewegen? Groenewegen gave the salute, but McClay was right there as well. There couldn't have been anything between them, but Groenewegen, the Dutch champion, claims the victory, and Dan McClay sportingly shakes his hand as much as to say, well, you did get it right on the line. What a finish that was. Team Bardiani were in the shake-up as well, and no doubt Brian will tidy that one up when we see the replay. Handshakes all the way round, but that was some finish, Brian. That was a very close finish, and uh, unlucky for McClay. We come in here, and uh, Groenewegen has got the perfect lead-out into the final uh, straight here as we go left. It's a kind of sharp left here. Groenewijk in the second place, Swift and then McClay. McClay comes up a, a, against uh, Swift, 250 metres to go. You can just see Barbero is also there in the green. But it was a drag race between Groenewijk and the Dutch champion and Dan McClay. It just kind of hooks up a little bit now and uh, then goes downhill. Oh. But a very close finish of about a wheel's length between Groenewijk and McClay. By the looks of things, Ben Swift hung on for his set, uh, third place here and takes a nice four-second bonus with uh, Barbero in fourth and uh, Julian Vermont in fifth. And it was Groenewegen, the Dutch champion, that clinched the victory for Lotto NL Jumbo. Dan McClay of Great Britain second, Ben Swift third. Good ride again by the yellow jersey, Julian Vermont. So it means that Vermont will still be comfortably in the lead after stage four.